Hello, Jim Hodges here, Piper here. Piper is a golden doodle, between five and six months of age. She's here for our puppy residency training program. In fact, uh, she has bigger ambitions. Uh, Piper may very well be a therapy dog in the future. In fact, she is probably one of the rare puppies that I've had that her temperament and personality is probably ready to do therapy work now. A lot of dogs need to mature a little bit so that they learn they need to settle. She has been real good in her work. Her owners, you have done a wonderful job with her in our pre-puppy work that we did. And now we've got the obedience zone so she can understand that there's structure and boundaries to her life from her leader. Okay, so please watch the video. We're gonna do a take going through. If she makes a mistake, I'm gonna show you what we need to do. We don't try to make these uh, videos perfect. We're trying to educate so that you will know how to handle uh, your dog when you get home. Listen to my tone of voice. Look whenever I do bite. You know, I'm going to bite her and release. I'm not here to intimidate or dominate or break her spirit in any way, but I am here to get her attention. I am here to let her know that there's a consequence for her actions when she knows what that action should be. Okay? So with that, we're going to get started. You ready, baby? All right, let's go. Hear the tone? All right, let's go. Of course, she's walking with us. She's not pulling us. Okay, she goes where we go. Good girl. And our idea in the beginning with any puppy or dog is not to give her all of this leash. And good girl. In the beginning, we want to keep her short. Why? Not only do we not want her to get out in front of us and lead us or be able to ignore our behavior, the other thing is to teach her through repetition that her goal will be to want to be right beside us where we can give her a little bit of praise at the same time. Let's go. Sit. Good girl. Hand signal for sit is like this. She sits. Good girl. Sit means sit. She has to stay in a sit until I release her. If she started to get up or if she did not do the sit, I would tap up. No. Sit. Tap. Say no. And then sit. And then come back and give her a little bit of praise the second time. Not as much as if she did it right the first time, but we want to acknowledge to her that's what we want. If she did mess up and we know she knew what to do, then we would take the time right then to try to work with her and get about two or three in a row correct sits out of her and then move on to something else. Break. Break is my release. When I release her, she can do anything she wants except pull me on a leash, okay? So we have the sit. Sit. Good girl. We have break. Let's go. And I could have gone, let's go, without breaking her then. There's no set rules that you have to do. You can go from one command to the other. Now, let's go. If by chance she wasn't walking with me or starting to pull, I would tap the leash in the direction I wanted her to go. So if we were walking and she started heading that way, I would tap the leash back here. If she started to get in front of me, I'd tap the leash behind. The only time I wouldn't uh, tap the leash forward or move her as if she was behind me. I normally try to motivate her by tapping my legs, good girl, to let her know what I want. You ready? Let's go. So we're back to walking. We know how to SIT. We know how to tap the leash. Let's go to, ah, a girl. Notice I praised her as soon as that fourth foot hit the bed. Now, once we have her in place, she can lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book. I don't care what she does as long as she stays on the bed. You could give her a toy or a bone or one of our antlers if you like. No problem, okay? She will do this place with our other dogs and cats around for easy an hour, at a two, hour or two at a time right now. She's very good. One of the things that I would not do is tell her to sit or down while she's on the place. Place is the command all by itself. When we put her in the crate, we've been telling her to crate. So we tell her to place, we point at the bed, we praise her. In the beginning, we're going to have the leash on her in our hands or on her so that if she gets up while we're moving around the house, we can pick up the leash. No, 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 place. Good girl. And then step back to what we're doing, okay? She is really good at the place command. Good girl. And a girl. Okay. So now, a while ago, I gave her a break and went into the let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Ah, girl, come on. Good. So 
So we have our place command. Sit. Good. One of the other things that she does real well is look at us eye to eye. I love that with a dog. Uh, anytime she looks at us, let's praise her. She's happy to do it. You can tell by her emotions that she wants to look, wants to see what we're doing. She loves us. So we want to reward that. We can reward it with love, or sometimes we might could pop out and she's looking at us, give her a little treat. Notice I gave her a treat then, just like that. And when I gave it to her, I pet her and loved her, okay? I like to associate the treat with good girl, with touch, with the treat or toy at the same time. I'm creating a relationship between those gestures that one or all of them can have the same effect as we move through life, okay? So she's in that SIT, down. Good girl, hand signal for down, she's in the down command. If she didn't down or she tapped up, popped up, we would take the leash and tap it towards the ground and say, no, down. Good girl. So now in the down, normal down, she's right there, at, no, down. And I was just getting ready to say, when we have her in a normal down, she's not supposed to smell or chew on other items, okay? because that down is ours, and she should be waiting on us to go into another command. Now, one of the things I like to do is put a dog stay. Stay means pack your bags, you're gonna be there a while. Now, if she wanted to pick up that leash, now if she wanted to sniff the ground in front of her, as long as she didn't pick up a rock or something I did not want, if she wanted to roll over on her side, I'd be happy. I tell all of my clients in the beginning, it's important to try to put our dog or puppy in a down stay for 10, 15 minutes, once a day, every other day for that first month or so. And all we're doing is we're teaching our dog that we're in control, complete control. That down, that sit, that sit, that down, that stay, means she's submitting to us and understanding that we're telling her we have to hold her. That doesn't mean we can put her in that down or down stay and move around and do the things that we need to. Go into another room, come back. Same with the place. If she got up, it would be no, no, parallel to the ground. That's our movement. Remember our let's go. No, 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 down, stay, or no, down. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So from the down, we could break her, we could sit her, we could have her come, we could have her do anything we wanted to out of this command, okay? So what do I want to do with you? See how she's watching? That's such a good girl. Such a good girl. She is so sweet. So now I'm going to do the C-O-M-E command. Watch my hand. She comes. She sits. at a girl. And she has to hold the sit until break. I release her, okay? So if she did not come to me just then on leash, I would have tapped the leash towards me. See how I tapped and see what that meant to her? I would have tapped the leash towards me. When she came to me, if she did not S-I-T, I would have tapped up. So I would have gone, no, come. Or if she got to me and she did come, it'd be no, sit, okay? We pet her, we love her, but she cannot get up out of that sit at the end of the come until we released her. Now that's on leash. Off leash is really up to you. Off leash is something that we want all of our dogs to always want to come to us, okay? I gave you instructions in the manual about the come, but uh, real quickly, Basically, we never call her to us off leash unless we know she's going to come or we can make her come. What's the best way to make her come is uh, doing a, another little obedience thing I'm going to show you here in just a second or get her attention with the toy, uh, with the treat, or even just you and say, hey, baby, what you doing? And she commits to coming. Come. Ah, a girl. Now, off leash, I wouldn't have minded if she didn't sit then, okay? And that's what I was trying to emulate. Another thing to do off leash, I mean, to, to try to practice that off leash or that come at any moment, is walk, stop, come. Now I could have made her come, but catch her off guard. And a girl, break, sit. Good girl, she sat, did you see that? She was already in the sit. Down, that's the hand signal for down from the front. If she didn't down, what would I have done? No, down. And again, she holds that down until I release her. We could go back to any of those commands. Sit. Good girl. Let's go. Listen to my tone of voice when I'm doing this, okay? Uh, hop. Let's load up. Hop. And a girl. 
That's our great, get in the car, get on the furniture command. If it was get on the furniture and you're ready for her to get off, so many people say down. You wouldn't do that. You would say, oh, good girl. Okay? Sit. Next thing, with her going to be a therapy dog, that's another reason why we keep the leash short, but we also have the heel command. The heel command is where we draw, add a girl. We draw a uh, imaginary box at our side, okay? And what we do is we try to keep her in that box. So if we walk slow, we walk fast, her job is to try to react to us and stay in the box. When we stop, she should sit, okay? So if she started to slide out of the box that way or that way or that way, I would tap real lightly and tell her to what? No, heel. Hand signals like this, heel. Good girl. Atta girl. Heel. I step off, she comes right back into the box. Good girl. Now one of the things, break that she does, and you need to be aware of when you're working with her with the heel, you notice I didn't have my head turned directly to her. And I'm not going to do this, but just imagine what I'm trying to tell you. We're in the heel command. I'm looking at her. She so much wants to look into our eyes, okay? And I'm heel, and I stop to look at her. What might she do? do? And she does this. She'll turn out of the heel position to look at me. So how do I stop that? Right now, I was doing the heel, and I was looking out here in front of her. Not right there in her eyes, but right there out in front of her, okay? And that way I could see if she was stopping and doing what we needed her to do. Hope that makes sense. So the hand signal for heel is like this, okay? So you saw the down, then the, from the side, from in front. We've done the place. One more time. <clears throat> she comes. She sits. Atta girl, break. See how well she's doing? She wants to please. And it's our job to make her want to do this, to want her to want to do this, so we have to be real upbeat with her. Remember, my rule of thumb is we praise 20 times more during the day than we ever bite or provide a consequence. We don't want to become a nag to her. We don't want to open our mouths and... Uh, she says, oh gosh, what, what's he saying this time? What have I got to do? We want her to want to do it, okay? The only other thing, and this is uh, what the owners had done with her, and we've just continued to work on it and gave, give a hand signal, is they love, she's got this real sweet uh, way of coming to people, which I think will be real good for therapy. Right here, cut her. See how she curls in? Atta girl. So right here, cuddle. It's really cuddle. But I started it with the right here, and now I'm in the process of transitioning it to cuddle. That's fantastic. She curls right in. If she started to jump, because she does have that little bit of excitement, we have to be ready to bite that in the beginning and not reward her by petting her unless she's doing what we want. The only other thing this little girl used to do is play bite real hard. And we have to move up to it. A lot of times I tell people we use the snout. That didn't work with her too much with the owner, one of the owners. So now that we've finally got to the point that we've done obedience, we can have the leash, or better yet, we can have this, it's called a tab, on her. And when she starts to nibble, not good girl, okay? And then what we have to recognize, we're not just biting her, okay? But then we have to recognize when she starts understanding not to bite. So we went to pet her, and normally she would bite. If she had been learning, and we pet her and she didn't bite, what would we do? Add a girl. She actually learned again. Okay? I love to use treats, but I don't always do them because she's working for the treat. Break. Good girl. Watch me give the treat again. Add a girl. She's still in the sit. If she got up, I would bite her. Break. She needs to meet people in that calm environment. She's doing real well. Piper's a fantastic dog. We may need to take that next session uh, in a month or two to go to into the therapy work. We need to get her out in public. We need to get her out in exciting uh, places and things and teach her that she can enjoy them, but she needs to enjoy us as leaders at the same time. You know, my number is 336-945-3232. It's jimhodgesdogtraining.com. 
is Facebook, Jim Hodges Dog Training. If you ever need me, let me know. I tell all of my clients, anytime I do a residency program with a dog, Rachel or I will be more than happy to do any follow-ups as long as you come to us for free. We want you to have a great dog. The big thing is most dogs in most situations, not all dogs, the humans are the limiting factor in their lives. We teach bad behaviors, we teach good behaviors. It's important that we look at our actions, our words, our thoughts, and see how they parlay into what our dog does. And as we start thinking about it, it'll get better. And then normally, as I say in all my booklets, it takes 40 to 50 times to correctly, repetitiously, to learn a new command or behavior. And we do that, and we work on it. Thank you so much, and take care. Good girl. Break it.